Good morning, everyone. I hope you woke up raring to go. Um, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 to 20 says, Or do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? So God gave you this Holy Spirit. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. And so as humans, we are often very... Um, People point to our limitations, but our biggest limitation is that this body that we walk around in um, all over the world, this body is nothing without the God that we, that without that which the God has put in us, and that's our spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit from God. And Jesus Christ bought us with a price. He died for our sins. He gave up that which he was, and that was God and deified. You know, he was a deity. He was he is God. And he gave that up and he came and he he was what we needed him to be in this space and in this time. So it's very interesting to read this and think, hmm, it's a it's a um piece of scripture that says you are not your own. You belong to God. You are not complete without God. Um, God placed the Holy Spirit within you um, and within your body. And then it says, so glorify God with your body. Now, what does that mean? And actually, it's such a wide subject. It's such a big thing because it means that this body houses our purpose on earth here and so often when you go to um, seminars or you listen to talks for, by entrepreneurs it's all about the money and all about how to make money and how to become a good salesperson money but most of these um, speakers and these life coaches and all that they're moving towards one thing they have realized that if you are doing your purpose that, that or those things for which you have been planned by our sovereign God, if somehow you have that woven into the life that you are leading in your business or in your work, then you flourish. Yes, you get tired. Yes, you get stressed. Yes, do that. But you actually flourish. And so many of these speakers and, and, and coaches are saying, find that which you are meant to be doing here on earth. That which for you are, that for which you are purposed. And as soon as you link what you are doing to your purpose, even if you cannot ride a Ferrari because you're not making so much money, it doesn't matter because there's this fulfillment. And so I suspect that it, what seems that the world is moving more towards Get, find out what your purpose is and then the rest will come. And that excites me because that is exactly what God wants us to do. And we all have a universal purpose and that is to bring his kingdom to earth. You know, we, we, we pray our Father who art in heaven and at the end, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And, and that's bringing this kingdom of God down here to this physical place where we stay and we must be that kingdom we must show that kingdom to those around us and it is so important um, because when we do the things with this physical body that God intended us to do we will live longer healthier um, stronger more fulfilled happier lives and so most of us fall short somewhere you know, and so something falls away, either your health or you, your wealth or your joy or your contentment or your peace. And so find that space. Start looking in your life. I've been doing that and it's actually been working where you feel unfulfilled or, un, or have no peace or your joy has been robbed or you feel concerned and anxious all the time. And then start working on that place. And then start looking for places where you can use this temple to glorify God.
in his wonderful places. It's not an easy job, but it is a very fulfilling one. Have a wonderful day and we'll speak again tomorrow.